I created an aim routine that I could do for just five minutes a day for seven days, which took my aim to a whole new level. The best part though, is that this is all within the new shooting range. So whether you're on console or PC, you can do it too with no extra programs required. Very soon, you'll have the step-by-step -step process of this routine, understand how to get better aim and how to keep consistent at it to actually improve. But before I do that, we have to start at day zero, where I'm 1v1ing professional Rainbow Six player Reverse. Reverse is the newest player on the Beast Coast roster in the Blast R6 North America. American League, and he is nasty. This 1v1 is just a set of baselines, see how I stack up against a player of this caliber, and find out if there's any possible way that I'd be able to get good enough in just one week to take him down at the end of this experiment. And I ended up winning the first round, but the small advantage I had didn't last very long. Here's where things really started to take a turn. When I eventually stopped getting lucky pre-fires onto reverse, he started putting me in the blender. This was honestly a great way to humble myself. I really felt like I was complete garbage at the game getting destroyed over and over again. Again. Not only that, but my reactions felt slow, my recoil control was wobbly, my flicks felt inaccurate, and overall I really just felt like an old man. With a swift 5 rounds in a row, Reverse beat me 6-2, to two, and now the real work began, because it was time to create this aim routine and become an aim god. Day 1 to become a machine, let's go baby. So I got my cheeks clapped yesterday by reverse and you know i got a lot to work on i got a lot to work on i got a week i got a week to come back and beat them and i i do genuinely think that i can do this what i'm gonna start with today is just idle dummies right nearby because that way i can warm up my arm right so if i have to flick really far and as fast as i can i'm gonna try to flick to these dummies as fast as i can it's not really about aim right now it's more about just like getting the movement of the arm down here and like as fast as i can get these Get to be dummies and just try to flick around. It's gonna be so hard to talk while I do this. I can already feel my arm just heating up and it's only been 20 seconds. <sighs> like I mentioned, we weren't going for pure aim. We were going for pure speed. So I think the biggest thing there is if we go for speed, we can warm up those flicks. We can just warm up the the speed of the arm because what I noticed I was doing a lot is my flicks were really slow. So if if I can practice just warming up my arm real good and then I can get the flicks more accurate over the course of the week, then I, the realistically flawless. Let's do like idle idle balls now, big ball. Do we do big ball? Do you like big balls or small balls? Same thing, close, idle, and just warm it up a little more. Another thing I can do is like these like two taps where I'm jumping from one to the other super quick. I think that now that we have like the arm warmed up, now we gotta focus on like that precision gameplay, right? We gotta focus on that precision and then maybe a little bit of tracking after. So I think we'll just do like five of these a day. Five, that's five minutes. That's literally five minutes of aim training that I have to do every day. That's nothing. Imagine if you, at home, being a fat loser who sucks at the game, did this every day, your aim would just get so better so fast. I think. That's my hypothesis, at least, because it's only day one. We'll do them slightly moving, so we'll do them where they're moving a bit, just so we do have to be pretty accurate, and they are going to be as far as possible, um, but we don't want them to be too fast. And right now, we're focusing purely on accuracy, which is clearly very, very bad. And this one you can feel way more in your fingers like the first one was all like in my deltoid this is just very like finger and wrist because there's such micro movements and this obviously of course would depend on your sensitivity as well but all right that seemed atrocious feels like it hit seven targets in the minute uh let's do dummies at range now and the same thing we'll get them walking oh my god I'm never going to beat reverse with aim like this. I feel like I am getting warmed up though. Like I feel like I could go destroy some people in the rank trenches right now. So that's a good sign because that means I could probably destroy reverse in the 1v1 just after a small warm up. Didn't look good on the scoreboard, but it felt good in my heart. You know, it felt like progress was being made in terms of just my sheer confidence, even though 
looked really bad, I know. And for the last one, we're gonna put them on random speed, random distance, and we're just tr gonna try to kill as many as we can. Headshot only once again. Uh, I'll, I think I'm gonna be doing headshot only this whole week, just because that'll force me to aim for the head, because that was another problem that I kind of struggled with. Okay, you know, I think that went pretty, pretty well. With the routine lockdown, all that was left was to keep at it for a week to prepare for my rematch against Reverse. But staying consistent can be difficult, so what's the easiest way to not only commit to this routine, but also just to remember to do it? Well, the easiest way to remember something like this is to have a pre-planned idea of when during the day you're gonna do it. Having a cue that triggers that reminder in your head is perfect. For example, doing it after doing something that you already do every day will remind you after doing that thing that you have to do your aim training. Like brushing your teeth in the morning. After brushing my teeth, I'll go do my aim training. This is something I learned in a fantastic book called Atomic Habits that talks in depth about creating habits, the easiest way to do it, and how to get rid of unhealthy habits. I'd really recommend it if you're interested in improving your life outside of Rainbow Six as well. The other interesting aspect of habit forming is making it as easy as possible. By only doing five minutes a day, three minutes, or even just one single minute, it's gonna be easier to come back to the next day and it won't feel like as big of a burden as trying to commit to say 20 minutes a day right off the start. This will develop consistency and being more consistent is going to mean you do it more often and get better much faster. Aim training for 30 minutes but then giving up 30 days in or never doing it again is going to be much less effective than doing 5 to 10 minutes for a whole week straight. So I started with 5 minutes and it worked out pretty well for me but after the week was up it was time to see if I had actually improved or if I was doomed to the same fate as the week before. It was time to face reverse again. Wow, I feel really warmed up now. That felt really good. Wow. That was a close one. Wow, it was. You were coming in with some heat, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Fenrir is like basically cheating. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, I missed. Yeah, Fenrir is just cheating, but... Oh. This is crazy. Did I... I'm surprised. I thought you. I thought you had me there. Honestly. I thought I did too. Dude, I cannot see anything. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a four is all you get. Four is all I get. All right. All right. Get your stupid fucking cams out of here, bro. Damn. Did you hear me? Four is all you get. Oh my god, please. Oh! Dude! Oh no. my god! I'll play Bandit so I can wow. use the MP7 so. Nice. <laughs> I was full blood, dude. <laughs> This could be it. Four is all you get. Four is all you get, Reverse. Five is all you get. <laughs> oh! I thought I made it to the bomb safely. I did not. Nice shot. Damn. Alright, gotta win by two. Indeed. What? <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! I'm better! <laughs> w aim training. So I went from getting absolutely smoked by reverse to actually being able to fight back. I could distinctly notice the more precise flicks, higher reaction time, and even just the confidence in my aim. I'm still definitely not as sharp of an aimer as reverse is, but I'm very happy with the progress I made. Try this out yourself, get better, and get to work. Oh, 
and subscribe for more.